Republicans have been in charge for the last 40 years. This devastating economic situation came under their watch, and the Republican majority is taking Arizona down the wrong track. Arizona needs leadership now. We need a governor who's willing to work with Democrats on a bipartisan solution. We need to focus on what is important to Arizona families, quality jobs, a better educational system, affordable health care, and the safety of our families. The people of Arizona need to be able to rely on their elected officials to keep their promises. The governor has not kept her promises. While stating that we need to create jobs, Governor Brewer and the Republicans have eliminated over 4,000 state jobs and countless more in the private sector. Last year, the governor promised not to decimate education, but she signed on to one of the largest cuts to education in Arizona history, and in her speech today, she promised more cuts. Last year, the governor said she would protect the most vulnerable, but she cut vital programs for health care, and today she promised to cut another 300,000 Arizonans from their health care. We need more than her political rhetoric. We need real leadership, and the Republicans and the governor are not providing it. Arizonans are demanding better, and they deserve better. Arizona continues to top the charts in its record unemployment rate, and Governor Brewer said she wants to create jobs. But last year, the governor signed a budget that cut Science Foundation Arizona, a jobs creation and economy boosting program, as well as job training programs. She also let federal stimulus dollars for jobless aid go to other states instead of right here to middle class families in Arizona. The governor likes to talk about job creation and helping businesses succeed, but clearly she hasn't made good on her promises to Arizonans. Remember, this is the same governor who bragged about the cuts that she made to education and jobs in the past year and then raved about having a great Thanksgiving. The fact is that the cost of health care is too high for businesses and in for employees. Middle class families can't afford to take their kids to the doctor. But Governor Brewer's solution is to make even more cuts to health care, education, and jobs before having any real political courage to employ common sense solutions. This year, she wants voters to scale back the law that they passed 10 years ago, expanding access coverage. She also wants to eliminate services for the state's seriously mentally ill population. This kind of cut would eliminate mental and physical health care for hundreds of thousands of Arizonans. Democrats, on the other hand, want to take a balanced approach to solving Arizona's budget crisis and protecting middle class families and kids. To get Arizona on the right track, Democrats support making cuts to wasteful and non-essential programs, closing tax loopholes, using federal stimulus dollars, and implementing tough immigration reform. While the rich enjoy tax breaks on maid services, middle class families have to pay taxes on school supplies and clothes for their children. It's time to close unfair tax loopholes and make sure that big corporations and the rich pay their fair share. The Republicans' plans on immigration haven't worked. We need tough immigration reform that cracks down on human smugglers and violent criminals, and we need to give law enforcement the tools they need to secure our borders. But most of all, we need elected officials who can lead our state back down the right track. We see a governor that, instead of creating jobs for the state, has laid off thousands of workers, cops, teachers, healthcare workers for kids and seniors throughout this state, and has decimated industries that are so vital to our state. We heard a comment today from the governor that Arizona is open for business, yet I think that when businesses get here, they're going to find there's nothing on the shelves. We've decimated every industry we can think of in the past 12 months in Arizona. Governor Brewer is leading us down the wrong track. She needs to realize, and the Republicans need to realize, that in order to protect businesses, to create jobs, we have to invest in education protective public education system, and create an economy that will let us compete for the 21st century jobs that are so vital to the su success of any region in this country or this world. What she gave us today was not a plan, it was a lecture. We need to change course, and she's right, it is time for leadership, and we hopefully, hopefully we will see hers in 2010.